When lights go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back Just pulled up here and I didn't even know where I am. I didn't even know this place even existed. It's called Edgemont. That was a museum. They're closed. But they had some cool stuff kicking around the parking lot though. That was rad. Is it Egmont? Edgemont, Egg, whatever. Where are you now? I hope you're fine. But I won't lie. I still miss you so much. I got no idea where I am. I'm on some mountain service road. Uh, just pulled into a campground. Figured why not, right? Uh, nobody is at the little host place back there, so maybe he's around here doing rounds. I don't know what it's gonna cost. We're kind of way up in the mountain in the middle of freak who knows where. Yeah, a little nice place to pull up and maybe light a fire and have a, just a good night by the lake. Sounds damn good to me. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun so I cool down. Just this drive was so worth it. And I've gone by 13 different campsites already and zero people camping. I don't know, maybe I'm looking for the right spot. I should have just grabbed the first one, but I'd like to have one right, kind of like side door of the van open to the lake. That would be right. Everybody's standing in line for the water slide. You can come on. Well, what do you think? Our home for a night? If I like it, maybe two nights. We are like the only person. Come on, homie. The lake, it breaks into two sides. This road goes all the way up and around halfway and then it stops. And the road forked at the beginning too. I'm guessing it goes that way as far as it can. So I pretty much have this whole side of the lake to myself because there's nobody up here. <laughs> Nobody. Looks good to me. <laughs> we even got our own dock. Check it out. Man, that's going to be a good place to sit and have my morning coffee when the sun rises over that mountain there. I don't hear anything up here. This is going to be a first for me. I knew buying this hacksaw would come in handy for something. I bought it because just in case I needed to do some cutting in the van. Well now I can cut things like, you know, some wood to burn. This would be pretty freaking nuts if I had this whole lake to myself. I do know from right there, actually I should do this, from right there, all this side, 
all the way along. And right about there in the middle is where the entrance is to come in here. So this whole half of the lake is just me. Insane. Freaking dead silent. This is a first for me. Like we are quite a ways away from the first town. Like I have no cell phone reception, no nothing. This is a crazy moment for this guy. I'm a city boy, remember? I'm gonna like this. little nesting ground right there is pretty sweet and my van's right there too bad there's no like turtles popping up because that would be so adorable because every campsite needs a hammock <laughs> now it really looks like I'm camping because this whole thing was just spur of the moment, just driving up a random road and found a campsite and decided to go camping. I didn't come prepared with, well, the necessities you would need for camping. I don't got any camping food, because we're gonna light a fire tonight, and all I want is hot dogs and marshmallows. I don't got either. I got a couple containers of mixed leafy greens, some bananas, and a container full of like mixed fruit, like pineapples and watermelon and stuff. That's not camping food. Oh, and I got some canned soup, but that's not even exciting either. But on the bright side, I do have beer, so that's one major camping bonus. I give a thumbs up for that one for damn sure. And also, we didn't come prepared with any firewood, so me and Disco went around to a bunch of the other different campsites around here, and we scavenged enough firewood to get us through the night, so that's a bonus. I still haven't seen the caretaker or whatever you want to call the guy that takes care of this place. His trailer was down there at the beginning. He didn't answer the door and I figured he'd do his rounds before the sun goes down because he's got to lock the gate and stuff anyway, but apparently not. Hope he doesn't come around too late. I don't mind if he doesn't come around at all. Free camping, I'm in. <laughs> Not freaking bad for a city boy. I'm actually like just slightly impressed with myself actually oh, Hot dogs Let me say that camping by yourself is not as fun as it is camping with one other person or a group of people. The fireside conversation is null tonight. Don't get me wrong, I'm really enjoying this peaceful moment. It is dead silent. All I can hear is the cracking of the fire and I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I wish I was cooking it there, but I ended up cooking it inside of the van. I am making mini ravioli, Chef Boyardee, yeah, real fancy, right? This turned out to be actually pretty damn good camping food. 
I didn't even know I had it. I'm opening up my drawer with all my cans in it. I'm like, I got soup, 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 and oh, jackpot. I bought this stuff at the dollar store, and I was like, I'll probably never eat it, but I'll buy it anyway. Thankfully, I did. You guys like this stuff? I think this is Disco's first fire. No, actually I think he's been around one fire once, but for a short amount of time. But yeah, this is like a whole first for him too. <laughs> it's about 9.30 at night. The sun is just about down. <laughs> Disco's in the house, listen to him. You know how noisy that is, bro? <laughs> candles are lit in the van. I got two candles in the front, and because I have the same cabinets in the back, I have the same candles in the back. I don't have the back ones lit, but man, does it ever create this just super cool vibe. Anyway, I'm gonna take all this clothes off I have because they stink. And I want to wash myself all down before I crawl into bed and wipe Disco down because the last thing I want, I don't even know when I'm going to do laundry next. All right, guys. Anyway, I'll see you guys again soon. And yeah, guys, stay weird. Adios. Yeah.